I'm going to go ahead here and, and make a video to help out some of you who are having problems with flash on sapling. Now the first thing that I'm going to recommend is if at all possible use the Google Chrome browser. That's what I'm going to demonstrate here. And the reason I'm recommending that is it just seems to work really well in order to enable it. It's a fairly simple process to enable it. So if you've got a Google Chrome tab up, you want to go up here to the very upper right corner where you've got three vertical dots. When you click on that, it brings up a menu with some various options. You want to click on Settings. When you do Settings, it's going to open up Settings in a tab here. Now while there's a lot of interesting things on here, what you need to focus on is down at the very bottom where it says Advanced. Now if your browser doesn't look exactly like that, there's probably still something down at the bottom saying Show Advanced Settings. You want to click on that, and it's either going to bring up a new tab, or it's going to just add some more to the bottom like it did here. Either way, you want to look for where it says Privacy and Security. And as one of the options in there, you want to find where it says Content Settings. Once you've found the content settings, click on that, and it will open up information about several different types, but one of those will be Flash. Once you've found Flash in that list, go ahead and click on it, and the first thing that you want to check is that it does not say block sites from running Flash. That means Flash is completely disabled. You want to have it set so that it asks first, which is the recommended setting. Now what I find with sapling is sometimes that's not quite enough. So what I've done is actually go through and specifically added sapling learning as an allowed site. So you'll see what it looks down here. It should be www.saplinglearning.com. And you'll just click the add and it brings up a bar, a bar here. And this is where you would type the www.saplinglearning.com and add that. Now, I'm not going to add it right now because I already have it, but it will look like this once you've added it. I also find that sometimes after you've done that and it shows up on your allowed list, you might want to close your browser and reopen it before you go back to Sapling. But what I found on every computer I use is that these steps will allow Sapling to use Flash inside its system. If you're still having problems, get in touch with me.